Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles from the channel Book on Stereos and I'm here to bring you guys another episode of what I listen to. Up first, I have Wild Game, My Mother, Her Lover, and Me by Adrian Brodeur. So Wild Game is a memoir about Adrian Brodeur's relationship with her mother and the subsequent role that Adrian had to play in keeping her mother's affair secret from her father. And so this book is positioned to be the next Glass Castle or educated by Tara Westover. And for me, it just wasn't up to par with those other titles. I gave this book a one out of five stars. Up next, I have These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. This book follows a coven of elemental witches in Salem, Massachusetts. And within this town, we follow our main character named Hannah and she is 16 and she is currently in high school. And the problem for Hannah is that in this town, she's not allowed to use her magic in front of a regular. And also her life is complicated by the fact that her ex-girlfriend is a part of her same coven. And life gets thrown out of balance when a new girl shows up in town, a blood witch starts wreaking havoc on the town, and a witch hunter starts killing off witches, and Hannah is forced to deal with all of these and try to survive. So I gave this book a five out of five stars. This is the first book in, I believe, a trilogy. I don't believe it's a duology, but I believe it's going to be a trilogy. A lot of people say that this book is a little bit slow and, and boring, but I felt like this book was expertly paced. The writing and the dialogue were fantastic and the character work was absolutely stellar. I really enjoyed this book and especially if you read this book around Halloween time, I think you will end up really enjoying it. And then finally, I have The Gifted School by Bruce Holsinger. This essentially follows a fictional town in where they're building a new gifted school. And this book examines the lengths that parents will go to put their kids in these gifted programs and the sacrifices and horrible things that they do to get their kids into these programs. So I gave this book, I believe, a three out of five stars. It was really engaging. This book is kind of compared to Big Little Lies, if you have read that by Liam Moriarty, but I think Big Little Lies is much better than this. For the first, I would say half of the book, I was super engaged, but the latter half really kind of lost me and I really kind of found myself not really caring about the characters. The writing was still stellar. I really enjoyed the writing and the plot was still really good, but at that point, I just really did not care for the characters. And there are a lot of characters. Um, this book is told in multiple perspectives and you do kind of bounce around between a lot of different characters. And if you're worried about that, it is a little bit confusing for the first couple of chapters, but you easily start making these connections as you go throughout the book and it becomes very clear and very evident who's who and who has what relationship with what character. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about that. I would say if you're interested in literary fiction and so you're someone that really enjoys the genre, I definitely would say this is a must read for you. Um, if you're looking for a book that's similar to Big Little Lies, this will not be the book for you. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys with another video. Bye.